Hi, my name is Lucas. I'm a photographer and filmmaker based out of West Michigan. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'd like to walk you through my film camera collection. Let's start out with the camera that I got first and that really kind of got me started in film photography. That is the Nikon N6006. I don't actually know a whole lot about this camera, but my dad gifted it to my mom when they were together and so I my mom gave this to me and she thought that I should have it and so I shot my first rolls of film on this camera and really fell in love with the medium with it and this camera is among one of the many that I will never get rid of. I think we'll just follow the line of Nikon, Nikon FM. I haven't put any film through it, it's seen better days, that's for sure, but uh, I'm excited to clean it up and have it around in the collection. Next up is the F2. This camera is just cool, I really like it. It's got a self timer, which is nice, so if you want to take a self portrait um, or do something like that, it's really cool. It's got a really interesting mirror on it, so you can actually remove the top piece and look straight through it and there's a lot of people i've seen a lot of videos on instagram that do just that and they show that top down view through the mirror which is interesting this is a camera that my dad used back in the 70s when he was still shooting for the press this is another one of those cameras that i'm just not going to get rid of which moves me into the final of my nikons which is the f3 and this one same thing um gifted to me from my dad and it's in really nice condition and it's just a really cool camera that I really enjoy. This I feel like would be like the perfect camera for a wedding photographer that just like wants to get the shot with this uh, motor drive that's on it <laughs> because just listen to this, listen to how ridiculous this is. I mean, if you want to just burn through these $15 rolls of film, like $20 rolls of film, like have at it. That's way too much for me. I like to take it a little bit slower. So that brings me into my Leica M6, which this is my everyday camera. I carry this everywhere I go. By far it gets the most use. I really love using it. I love shooting with it. I love the feel. It gets out of the way. It is just a beautiful camera that has the, some of the best glass that I've ever owned. For I've got a 50 millimeter uh, Sumalux and on it right now is this 28 millimeter Sumacron that I will never get rid of. These are, this is a, this is a great camera and I really, really love using it. From the Leica M6 straight into this, <laughs> the Budweiser camera. This is like the best novelty camera money can buy you, in my opinion. Um, I'm actually borrowing it, this right now. I uh, will probably end up buying it because I just think it's so cool. And it's such a, such a unique, such a fun camera to have around. Um, I haven't shot with it much. I've put a few rolls through it, but this thing, <laughs> I mean, it's worth it for the novelty alone. Like, it's so cool. The Ilford Sprite. This, I have not even put a battery in it yet, but I do have a plan for this. Uh, so stick around, subscribe, like all those fun things because it's gonna be a fun one. Olympus zoom that the front piece broke off of. I can't find a, somebody who can fix it. Um, so if anybody knows of anybody that could fix this camera, please let me know. That would be great. But let's move into medium format. Bronica ETRS. I really, really like shooting on this camera. It's got a nice uh, prism viewfinder on it that I really like. It makes shooting on it a breeze. Um, and it's just a all around really solid camera. I like the pistol grip with the built-in trigger. And there's a few things 
that are a little funky about it, but it's worth it. I like 645 um, format. It gives you 16 images. It's a bit more economical way to shoot medium format. My favorite medium format, my Hasselblad 500CM. This has been a like bucket list camera for me as long as the Leica M6 had been a bucket list camera for me. I love the look of it. I love shooting with it. It just feels like a quality piece of gear. And I need to get it CLA'd. The light seal on the left is kind of fading. And so, but for now, I'm just, I fix it by putting a piece of gaff tape over it. And that's done the trick for me, <laughs> but it's just, a great, great camera. Like, what's more satisfying than this? Let's move into instants. And the first instant is this Polaroid SX70. I love, I love that you can fold it down, almost put it in a pocket. It's just an iconic camera that really changed a lot in photography. I did send this one off to get CLA'd by Brooklyn Film Camera in New York. Not sponsored by them, but they did a phenomenal job CLA'ing this camera. They put on new leather, went through, cleaned everything, and I did opt for the 600 modification so that I can take the Polaroid 600 speed film instead of the original SX70 film. So really, really like this. And I like how slow it forces you to slow down everything's pretty manual on it um and i really enjoy taking my time setting up composition and pulling the trigger with this camera the sonar version of it which i love for the exact opposite reason i love that it has autofocus because i can catch those fast moments uh, of my daughter of my dogs of just life happening around me and it's sh shockingly accurate and you can focus so closely. I love shooting with this camera. I did get it, also get this one CLA'd by Brooklyn Film Camera and have the 600 modification done to it so it takes the 600 film. And I highly recommend doing that, especially if you're gonna get it CLA'd anyways. Fujifilm Instax Wide. This was my first stint camera that I bought and I really like it. I like it a lot better than the smaller. Uh, Fujifilm Instax. Um, very clean images come from this camera, which is great. Uh, I love the character that comes from the Polaroid cameras, but this one, if I just need something that's that I can count on, this is the camera. It's it, it's a it's a great camera, and I mean it's it's held up really well for me. And that's my film camera collection. If you've made it to this point, please subscribe, like, follow, all that stuff. I've got a lot more content coming out around these cameras and photography and filmmaking in general. If this video looks a little bit different, it's because I'm shooting it on one of my vintage lenses. Drop down in the comments if you can guess which one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.